Hey guys, this is the hike to North Dome, which is right there. Beautiful, beautiful dome. Uh, it's a fun one to do. If you don't get your half dome permit and you want to do a fun hike, this is a great one. Also, if you're like maybe scared of doing clouds rest, you shouldn't be. But if you are, if you have a fear of heights, this is another good one. There's no real edges on this uh, hike. It's about 10 miles uh, out and back. And the trail is downhill mainly to North Dome. And then you climb back out. So uh, just give yourself some extra extra gas in the tank for getting back up here. Now, if you want to do the hike, uh, just go to hikingguy.com where I have the maps and parking directions. There's a few different ways to get here. This is probably the most popular way from Porcupine Creek. It's, it's I think, the shortest way you can get here, but definitely not the hardest way to get here. So uh, check out the guide, but otherwise let me show you the turn-by-turn -turn directions on how to get to that magnificent dome. Okay, so we're gonna start from the Porcupine Creek Trailhead, which is right here. There's a lot of parking, there's a primitive toilet, and there's this big sign here that says you are on the trailhead and it gives you mileage for North Dome. There are people who go camping here um, and do other hikes, not just a North Dome, so the parking lot can get full. So just a heads up. And I have some information on camping on the article too, if you wanna check that out. But you're going to start going downhill from the beginning. There's a sign here. We're on an old paved road to start, um, which is being reclaimed by Mother Nature. And you're going to go down through the big trees, and pretty soon it's going to turn into a trail trail. And you have a couple of these little stream crossings. Um, Porcupine Creek. You might have noticed we're on the Porcupine Creek trailhead. So you're going to cross Porcupine Creek as we go down here. And basically for this first stretch, it's a, it's a nice kind of walk in the woods through all the trees and everything. It's pretty level. Um, we're going to come to this intersection here after a little bit. And if we make the left, uh, we can go down to Snow Creek, down into the Yosemite Valley, but we're not. It's a beautiful hike if you want to hike up here from Yosemite Valley, up Snow Creek. There's never anyone there. But we're going to go straight towards North Dome. You'll see there's the sign, the standard Yosemite metal signs towards North Dome, and we're going to keep going straight here. And then shortly after that, that trail splits off again um, to the right. And if you go right, you can go to Yosemite Falls, which is pretty far, but we're not going to do that. We're going to bear left towards North Dome and keep going straight. Now there's a little uphill here, and there's a viewpoint that you can check out. The main trail goes straight, but if you want to see the viewpoint, I have a little map for it on the website too. We're going to go over here and you can kind of climb up on these rocks and get a neat little viewpoint uh, down towards the Yosemite Valley. Now, let me just say this pales in comparison with the viewpoints later, so if you want to give this a skip, you can. Um, but otherwise, let's head back to the trail and keep going on the main trail. And you can see we start to go uphill here. Uh, you know, there's ups and downs on this trail. It's not straight downhill, straight uphill. Uh, just give yourself some energy, like I mentioned, to come back. Uh, but it's it's not as hard as any of the other major climbs out of the Yosemite Valley and here you can see we're climbing up a little bit Now up to the left is Indian Rock and I'm going to show you a little side trip up to Indian Arch Which is worth visiting Indian Rocks. Okay um, I'll include it on the map on the website But here at this intersection if we want to go to North Dome We would go straight and we'll go there in a second right down that trail but let's do this quick little detour to Indian Arch, which is the only natural arch here in Yosemite Park, and it's a pretty cool rock formation, so I do recommend it. Now, it's short to get there, but it is uphill, and there's some little use trails, and the trail bifurcates, come back, comes back together. And eventually, you can see Indian Rock up there in the distance, a big rock formation. It's pretty impressive. It's worth visiting. Now, when you get up to the rock, you just kind of climb around the back of it, or the arch, I'm sorry, the arch, and you can get some nice views through the arch to some of the high peaks in Yosemite. And if you want to continue on to Indian Rock, it's just straight up the trail. I'm not going to show you that because it's not as impressive as this, um, but this is definitely worth visiting the arch. Now, when you're done with the arch, just come on back down to the trail, and this is that junction that we split off earlier. And we're going to come back onto the main trail. And from here on out, uh, it's kind of walking on granite for the most part. And you're going to start to see half dome in the distance there. We're actually up, you know, level to it or a little bit above it at this point. Now, when we get here, 
you'll see these rocks leading off to the left. The main trail goes off to the left. You can go down the shortcut to the right, which goes straight down the granite. And I'll include information on that in the guide and in the map. But we're going to go down to the left, kind of counterintuitively away from the direction we were going. And then we're going to wind around and the trail is going to come down the side of the ridge where we're going to get some more incredible views of Half Dome, which you're going to get pretty much from here on out as you go down here. Now, once you come out here, there's a bit of a section where it's just kind of straight over the granite. Um, I'm generally going to look for little cairns, look for footprints in the, the sand and the dirt. And you're going to want to bear to the left in general. And here you can see someone's marked out the trail where it goes down to the left. If you go to the right, you kind of get cliffed out on a, on a big piece of granite. But we're going to go down to the left, follow the trail. And on this steep old, steep old down section here, the trail breaks apart, comes together in a few places, um, as you might imagine, on a popular trail. We're going to keep going straight, and eventually you're going to come to a junction. Now, this one you're going to make the hard left, which is a little counterintuitive. If we go right, we would go to Yosemite Falls, which again is another good hike. You can hike down here or up here from Yosemite Falls. But there you can see the sign for North Dome. Now this part's a little bit tricky. We're going to again counterintuitively go back. We're going to have to cross some granite where it's a little bit tough to see the trail here. But there's always some trail afterwards if you've crossed the granite. You can see here there's some dirt afterwards where you can see the trail is. Now the trickiest part is we're going to kind of switch back down a little bit and then they're going to go down along this kind of cliff face here and the trail is pretty narrow it doesn't really look like a trail and you're going to see it in a second here but if you see that big piece of granite we're going to go right along there and that is actually the trail we're going to go down there down that climb eventually we're going to pop out at the bottom you can see here you got to cross a little bit of the granite to get down here it's not like a intense scramble or anything but you might have to use your hands and slide on your butt a little bit but right after that you're going to turn around and twist down back towards north dome and this is a little one last little section of um, trees and vegetation that you're going to go through and it's level here and pretty soon we're going to pop out of the trees and we're going to be at the approach to north dome and we're just going to walk up this hill here. Now this hill, you can see, is plenty wide. There's no edges. There's no scary heights experiences here, unlike Cloud's Rest or you know, going up the cables of Half Dome. And when you get to the top, you're going to be on top of the solid North Dome um, granite dome here. And you'll start to get the views already. And then from the right, you're going to see Yosemite Valley right down there. And you're going to twist around, you're going to be able to see all the high peaks and half dome, and then past that, clouds rest. And then when you're done, you're just going to turn around and hike back the way you came. There's a little bit of uphill, and the worst is right at the beginning when you leave North Dome. But after that, it's pretty much uh, up and down and, and easy. So that's it. That's the hike. Once you're done, you got to climb back out. But it's not too tough. It'll feel tough, depending on how tired you are, but it's not as hard as some of the other climbs here in Yosemite. So just remember that. Now, if you are watching this on YouTube, I have a link to the full guide right underneath the video. So make sure you check that out. And if you want to say thank you for the video, just please click that little thumbs up button that helps other people find the video, hopefully do the hike safely and uh, have a good time. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you want to do other hikes in Yosemite, I have got a ton of them on hikingguy.com. So check it out. And uh, yeah, North Dome, it is a fun one. Look at these views. How can you not like that?